everybody. So our next presenter who is already here remotely in the Zoom room and will be going on screen in just a moment is um, presenter Fitriayu from Creative Commons Indonesia. They're talking about exploring the potential of Wikimedia Commons to promote OER among educators in Indonesia. Here they are. Hi. Okay, uh, thank you for introduction. So you, we should start it. Let us share screen first. Can you see? Hello? There we go. Hello. No. I'm trying to share my presentation. Hello. Are my voice heard clearly and you can see the the screen to sure. my presentation okay thank you okay um welcome to our session uh first of all uh, let us introduce ourselves my name is Fitri Ayu and I'm here with my friends Raymond Sutanto we work from Creative Commons Indonesia in this session we would like to share about exploring the potential of the Wikimedia Commons to promote OER among educators in Indonesia. So when we promote OER, because we are running a digital project, which is an OER project by Creative Commons Indonesia. We started this project last year and got support from Wikimedia Foundation, which is Wikimedia Alliance Foundation and also Creative Commons HQ. And our target participant is an uh, educator in a wider meaning, which is anyone who involved in teaching activities and who ever created digital teaching learning material. And this is, as you can see, our objective and what we did. We divided three uh, stages of uh, what we did. First of all, we created educational material OER about in Bahasa Indonesia because it's hard to find OER material uh, in uh, Bahasa Indonesia. And second stage is uh, promoted OER for educator through webinar and workshop. And the last is we held a training for educators. And this is us, uh, Fitri, Raymond, Stando, and also Lani. We got supported by Creative Commons Indonesia team, and we're not doing it alone. We, together with our collaborator, uh, which represent from ministry, institutional uh, organization, NGO, community that focus and or concern on education in Indonesia. So that was the starter and here is uh, our main course in the session, how we use Wikimedia Commons in our project. In general, uh, we integrate all of the activities in the project, in this project using uh, Wikimedia Commons. Why we are using Wikimedia Commons? Because for us, Wikimedia Commons is the best platform to application of 5R uh, principle OER that, that's stated by David Whaley, which is retain, uh, reuse, remix, revise, and re re redistribute. And uh, this is our first stage. Uh, we creating a booklet OER for educator in Bahasa Indonesia and also module for trainer in Bahasa Indonesia, of course, and also the poster infographic of videos. We uploaded all of this uh, material, learning material about OER uh, or publish it in uh, Wikimedia Commons. Uh, by doing that, we are using Wikimedia Commons as uh, our archive uh, uh, and also license it with CC by SA license. So anyone, anywhere, anytime can use it uh, or share it legally. So the in the first stage, we're using as our 
uh, repository work that we produce. And the second stage, we promoted uh, about OER uh, through webinar in uh, east part of Indonesia. And also we held workshop in person in west part of Indonesia. Uh, in this uh, stage, we are raising awareness about copyright CC license OER. And also we introduce about Wikimedia Commons as uh, uh, one of the OER repository, uh, which is, is free, uh, free to access, uh, uh, no need uh, to subscribe and no ads. We ask the, our participant to prove it by downloading our OER booklet or downloading it to demonstrate the first R of OER principle, which is retain. So they can uh, download it, CC license works, uh, take the benefit of it, and uh, prove it the OER principle retain. After they uh, downloaded it, uh, we ask them also to uh, publish their CC license work uh, with exemplifies by their own photos they, that they take, took before. Uh, and also uh, we, we ask them to give their contribution to Wikimedia Commons. Uh, that uh, this act uh, demonstrated to how to publish their work in CC license and also how to mindfully uh, license their work with CC license. Uh, why uh, we say that? Because once when we want to upload our uh, works in Wikimedia Commons, we got a lot of questions from Wikimedia Commons. For example, is that your work or not? And we, got ex uh, we, get, we have to choose which license and we get the statement, I, uh, the username, the copyright, uh, release the rights of the work. So it, it's good to uh, our participant mindfully license their work uh, with CC license. So we're using it in every workshop for 400 educators uh, uh, while we are doing workshop and webinar. And you can see uh, the, the works of the, the photos from participant in category local Karya FPT uh, 2023. And for the, our material, you can access in the category Project Adichita. And the last stage, we held, uh, we held OER training so in this training, we also introduced about Wikimedia Commons. We asked them to upload their photo, not only just upload the photo, we asked them to reuse uh, what in a Wikimedia file as their uh, digital, uh, as, as the raw material to create their OER or digital teaching learning. So uh, this, uh, we, 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 we also uh, using Wikimedia Commons integrated in this uh, lattice uh, stage of our activities. And for this part, my friends, we will share it to you. Raymond, your turn. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Raymond, and today I'm going to tell you about uh, how many digital projects contribute to Wikimedia Commons. Okay, so far uh, about 443 files uh, have been uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. Uh, that is, 53 files of them uh, are, are communication materials uh, that we created. Uh, that uh, includes uh, oh yeah, the, the booklets and then also uh, illustration, uh, infographics that we use on social media, and the last is uh, videos that we dubbed and uh, uh, we created for the OER training that uh, have been mentioned by Twitter. And uh, the second is about 200 photos uh, that uploaded from uh, our workshop participants and uh, the dissemination workshop. Yeah. So what is the difference between OER workshop and dissemination workshop? Uh, OER workshop uh, is the uh, is the workshop that conducting that conducted by us, and the dissemination workshop uh, is conducted by the winner of OER training participants. Yeah. So. Uh, we uh, chose uh, three winners from the OER training participants and 
uh, they conducted uh, a dissemination workshop and uh, the participants uh, of the workshop also uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. And the last is about 188 OERs produced by uh, the OER uh, training participants uh, themselves. Yeah, uh, In the OER training, uh, participants have uh, to upload three kinds of files yeah, as part of their assignment. The first is they have to upload photos and the second is uh, a collection of photos. Yeah, in, in Creative Commons, we usually call them as collection works. And the second, uh, they have to upload their final assignment to Wikimedia Commons. Final assignment if it is they have to create uh, an OER, yeah, an OER content. Also from this workshop and from this project, yeah, we uh, get uh, 223 uh, participants, uh, while uh, 211 of them are totally new contributors to Wikimedia Commons. Yeah, we retrieve all this data from uh, informatics. Yeah, the informatics. Uh, yeah, uh, we use uh, to get the data, and the last. Uh, from page views analysis, yeah, we found that uh, our OER booklet yeah, has been viewed about 414,000 14, times uh, on uh, Wikimedia Commons since uh, the booklet uh, was launched in January. Yeah. So this is the difference between Wikimedia Commons and other platforms that uh, we already use is uh, we can view and retrieve all data that we need uh, quickly and easily. Okay, and the last part, uh, I'm going to tell you about uh, challenges and advantages of uh, using Wikimedia Commons in our project. Okay, some advantages. The first, uh, we uh, Wikimedia Commons yeah, can be used as an archive, yeah, because it's easy to group OERs created by participants in one category. So anyone can legally can legally reuse them anytime and anywhere, yeah, since the works are licensed with Creative Commons. And the second, uh, easy for participants to contribute their works, yeah, because Wikimedia Commons is also available in Bahasa Indonesia. So participants can switch uh, and uh, upload their works to Wikimedia Commons. And the third, we use <coughs> Wikimedia Commons uh, as our demonstration on how to share and use CC licensed works and how OER uh, 5R principle works. Yeah, that is already mentioned by Peter. Yeah, retain, reuse, uh, revise, yeah, redistribute. And the fourth is uh, it's easy to use or adapt works from Wikimedia Commons. Yeah, I'm going to tell you in the next slide. Yeah, so from the first image, yeah, Leah used Reza's photos for, like, for her collection works about the city of Ternate as part of her assignment. So uh, the story is, uh, yeah, Reza. Reza uploaded photos of uh, local dishes from North Maluku in, 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 in the Eastern Indonesia yeah, uh, for her uh, first assignment, in, the first, in, in her first assignment. And in the second assignment, uh, Lia used Reza's photos about, uh, the, about uh, her local dishes uh, in her uh, collection works. Yeah. So, uh, home participant uh, used another uh, participants works and the second any illustration that we produce would was used by Anika for his final assignment in creating OER yeah so any any illustration uh, can be found in our OER booklet yeah we already uh, uploaded to Wikimedia Commons and this illustration uh, is used by another uh, person and the third is Ahmad uh, Ahmad here is a mathematics teacher yeah uh, for uh, middle school, uh, middle school students, and uh, in the last uh, assignment, uh, he made about uh, mathematics worksheet yeah, for for middle school uh, students, and unexpectedly, he shared one by one illustration that he made himself uh, from his module, yeah, uh, in Wikimedia Commons. Yeah, so uh, we get. Uh, many new uh, illustration, yeah? mathematics illustration in Wikimedia Commons. 
Okay. And some challenges yeah, that we face. <laughs> the first is uh, IP problem. Yeah? During the workshop, participants are unable to create more than six accounts yeah, using the same IP. So we always ask the participants to create account using uh, uh, before the workshop. And the second, weak understanding of uh, educational values. Yeah? We uh, all, uh, ask the participants to prepare one photo uh, usually yeah, before uh, the workshop yeah, that have educational values that uh, will be uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. But some of them still uploaded selfie photos. Yeah? So this is a problem. Uh, maybe in the next project, we have to define clearly, clearly what educational value means. And the third is take control over the assets used in the works. Uh, admins of Wikimedia Commons uh, sometimes take about uh, decorative assets yeah, used in the participants' works. So we have to make sure our participants didn't, didn't pilot uh, copyright. And the fourth, yeah, this is a common problem in Indonesia. Yeah? Uh, poor internet signal in some location, in the, uh, especially in Eastern Indonesia. Yeah. And, uh, and the last is lack of educational content in Bahasa Indonesia. Uh, in English, not all topic is covered yet. Yeah. This is said by uh, our, our OER training participants. Yeah. Yeah. This is the testimony from our OER uh, training participants. Fahmi yeah. Rayu yeah, says that Wikimedia Commons have provided a highly diverse range of source. Yeah. Uh, he uh, as as an English teacher, yeah, yeah, the English version, yeah, is a uh, is appropriate for her and can fulfill her requirements, yeah. But nevertheless, when compared to her previous practice of really extracting information from the internet, yeah, the resource uh, in Wikimedia Commons is still uh, are still limited. And last, from Dewi Wisuda, yeah, Dewi Wisuda is an informatics teacher. Yeah, in the middle school, uh, he says that computer science uh, subject, which consists of many elements, hasn't uh, fully provided by Wikimedia Commons. Yeah, because the files usually are uh, in general overfills rather than specific material. Yeah, he already uh, follow uh, our suggestion by uh, conducting search in English uh, and use uh, common use common common terms uh, in informatics, but not all of them are available in Wikimedia Commons. Yeah, uh, he hope that uh, in the future uh, the Wikimedia Commons can grow even larger and more comprehensive. So uh, many computer science teachers in Indonesia uh, can use it, and he said that uh, free from dark edges. Yeah, because uh, many computer science teachers in Indonesia consider license is uh, less important. Yeah because uh, they think that uh, what's already on the internet what's already on the internet is a public consumption yeah okay uh, thank you uh, for, for the for the session uh, follow our in, uh, our in social media on instagram facebook and Okay, uh, that's all for my stage our station uh, anyone to ask or Anything? We back it to the moderator.